Welcome back. We're here at the police academy to do the rounds. What's with the... The lollies, the trucks, the vans, what do you want to call them? Hello there, sorry it's so hectic here at the moment. Oh, it's not hectic, I'm just... Wondering what's going on? As you can imagine, the force is swamped with preparing for the upcoming operation inside the academy. There's also the investigation into the explosion that happened in the prison. That one's been a real head-scratcher for the team on it, I tell you. It must have happened when we beat the Emperor's replica. Maybe we should take a closer look at what's going on. We might be able to help. Do we have to? It's not like I care if they figure it out. If you really want to help them, then I go where you go. I mean, we will have a look, because there's a new in there on the um, map selection. That's no problem. I'll also relay the message to the rear CGF unit handling supplies. Oh, will you now? You think you put these on the truck too? I'd appreciate that. We've got no idea what the weapons we're fighting are capable of, so Detective Emma told us to go ham on firepower. Oh my. Good afternoon. Detective Dudley and a few other officers are conducting an investigation inside the prison. It's unlocked if you want to go in, in and say hello. Hmm, that might not be such a bad idea. We will go on in and say hello. Just want to go this way first, though. Because so far, it's been very accurate of new stuff. On the map. But there could be a yellow dot around in these locations. So, for instance, here, there's nothing on prison 2 or 3. There could be a dot in a prison cell somewhere, so I just want to, you know, just get that double check. So we, we can be sure that we're covered. Some very good music here, though. Do like it, I do like it. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Nothing on prison 3! Although the, that's where the depths are, isn't it? Fine. Yeah. Because here we are. There's Dudley. Hello there. I hope we aren't interrupting anything. Not at all. It's France. No, I wasn't expecting to see so many of you all at once. I trust preparations are going well. That they are. We hear you're in the middle of an investigation. We're trying to uncover exactly what happened here. Actually, a few of you were involved, I believe, so you and the Hemisphere may be able to help. But I have a moment of your time. Never saw myself helping the police. Still don't see it. Uh, too much effort, so it's all US. Nadia. Why me in particular? Well, we found a certain something in there. We're not sure what to do with. Ah, the artifact, I imagine. We thought it'd be better to figure out what happened before deciding how to approach it. I think I know what you found. I see. That does sound like a job for me, then. Your cooperation is appreciated. If McLean and Lord Rufus would also share the accounts of what happened here, that would also help. You have my word that I will not press you on your backgrounds if you choose to cooperate. I'll hold you to that, then. It all happened so fast that there's a lot I don't remember. Then let's hope we'll be able to fill in any gaps in your memory. I suppose I can help just this once. <laughs> Him being so cooperative is weirding me out some. That's enough whispering. I have some questions for you too, you know. Do you? Well, this is part of the monarch's regalia. While recovering artifacts does fall under the church's purview, I'm not sure there's a point with this one so broken. Sorry about that. It wasn't much choice. It had fused with the Emperor. Or whatever he turned into. It was as if it resonated with his obsession towards Swin and Nadia transforming him into a monster. That can happen? It can happen. There's still a lot we don't know about artifacts, but I didn't think they were capable of something like that. It wouldn't be the first time an artifact reacted to a person's thoughts. At least, it's lost the ability to do that now. I see no problem with leaving it in the police's hands. 
Understood. We'll turn it over to the cathedral once we've finished writing our report. Your information has given us a fuller picture of what went on as well. Though I do wish we had more to go on to properly identify this Emperor individual. You're better off not knowing about who he is too much. Not like he'll be causing any trouble anyway. And the organization doesn't take kindly to anyone digging into their affairs. Even we're in the dark about it, and we were part of it for a few years. Then they operate similarly to the society. The First Division can't afford to turn a blind eye to criminals who operate within its borders, dangerous or not. We'll likely need to work with the Guild to keep an eye on them as much as we do our Oberos. We'll have our full backing. I'll be sure to share what we've learned here with the other branches when I can. Can you clarify something for me? You said the Emperor who showed up wasn't the real one, right? Uh, Sim, then. Yet another one to add to the list, with the Supreme Leader, McBurn, and the other Arios. It's wild to think this tech so advanced they can copy a guy like McBurn and not have him notice he ain't the real deal. If Elysium can calculate the future well enough to call it a prediction, then it could certainly calculate a living being. That also makes what Nadia and Swin said a little strange. Yeah, how come the Replica Emperor was different from the real one? Even the way he fought against us was different. The biggest one was him being willing to overlook our betrayal. The Emperor we knew would stop at nothing to see us dead, and for that same offence. He's the type to take pleasure in seeing someone kill their own partner. He'd never miss a chance to make us feel the worst kind of pain imaginable. But then why would Elysium choose to realise him the way it did? If it really is capable of analysing a person's makeup down to every last detail and knowing the future, why would such obvious tells that give the replica away to anyone familiar with the original be part of their design? That's a fair point. That's a good question. There's no logic behind an AI choosing to calculate any replica that way. Hmm. This is going to sound weird, but work with me here. Say we failed to kill him the first time around, what do you think he would have done? He probably would have considered us his finest tools for being able to corner him as much as we did. Then he'd brainwash us so we'd never act out of line again. So I guess there are scenarios where he'd forgive us, is what you're trying to say. And if he could think like that, then it makes sense for the replica to think that way. Oh, my head's starting to hurt. Sorry, saying stuff like this isn't like me at all. Not like there's any point in talking what-ifs. I don't know whether this relates to your case, but there's no such thing as true perfection in this world. Elysium may appear that way to us, but there's likely no exception. I agree, and imagine that's what Prince Oliver and the others hope to exploit through their plan. You'll be taking part in the operation too, won't you, Dudley? Yes, although only in a supporting role. The true keys to its success will be all of you. I may not be able to accompany you this time, Barings, but I still expect you to do your utmost to ascertain the truth. You look after them, McLean. I'll be certain to keep them safe in your and Guy's place. I'll get us our answers, Detective. Count on it. I am counting on it, Bannings. After bidding farewell to Detective Dudley and Officer Franz, they resume their preparations. Oh. I expected more to go on there. Can't recall any reason to go here. You can't recall any reason to go there. Okay. Thanks a bunch for helping to move our investigation along. The Metropolitan Division is going to do all it can to support your upcoming operation in turn. So whatever you need, I'm here for you. Good luck out there. Thanks, Franz. Counting on you. I plan to assist with the operation's planning once we're done dealing with the aftermath. I won't be joining you all this time, but that's in part because I have faith that you'll get the job done. Bannings, grasp the truth behind this incident as a true detective would. Right. Right indeed. Okay, so that's the police academy done. Let's check out Knox Forest. What we got going on here then? Where are we looking? All the way down there. Oh yeah, that's that. Um, can I get on my bike? Yes. yes. That's the place where they had their little base of operations, wasn't it? And they were getting ready for 
the assault on mines. I'm, I'm stuck. There we go. Lovely. We're coming. Hold on. Let's get it. Oh, look, big spider. Bosh. That one looks tough. It's fine. <laughs> My turn. All right, cherubic smile. Sure, guys, cherubic smile. It's my turn. New attack. All for one. And, and one for all. all. Everyone, move in. <laughs> I'm up. Okay. Let's do that. Cause it's not going to cost you anything, is it? Change spirit unification. It's a good idea. It's my turn. Because now I can do that. Fine. My mind, my mind is, clear. is clear. My blade, my blade empty. empty. Now! now. Oh. Passion slash! Unbelief! Nice bit of damage there. Do cavalry edge on it. Wasn't this the enemy we fought when um, he right. was summoned in Nord via a flute? Let's go over UF attack again. Let's go. And go another true big smile. Guys, smile. Right. And UF arts. All for one. And one for all. Let this be the end. Yeah. These swords are of those who lost their way. Ungod! I'm hoping for a big amount of XP. So I need to get guys leveled up. As soon as we get that done, we can get another trial going. Nice bit of damage there, mate. It's Nova. Nova. Rising Nova. Thank you. Fairly simple, these guys. Fairly. <laughs> All taken care of. Okay, Selene sorted. Guys, is still so far behind on his levels. Dear, of dear. Course. Of course. Yay! I did it. <laughs> there we go. Lovely. Right. So let's see. Hmm. Just trying to think how to tie stuff up together in pairings and stuff for parts because we're pretty much done on this side I was, I was thinking maybe if we could go to um, Belgard Gate we could do that now but no so what we'll actually do is we'll head on back to the Reverie Corridor and do some pom pom party be a good idea Let's also head for the... What was that? Mini missions. Oh. Let's head back to the tree as well, because that's nearby where I want to go. So we can get ready for any more fights coming our way. That's the plan, anyway. Rest gear. Executing recovery program. Executing shooting slash. Good, good, good. Right, so... I mean, it's not fully recharged based on what we've done, but, you know got something going at least um what I want to do a oh, different group here because I wanted to take out um Celine and put someone else in but anyway 
Pump pump party. Executing recuperation program. Executing shooting slash. Get two more done, I feel. Laura. Right, speed was working well for us previously, so we'll carry on with that logic. Okay. Down there, actually. Nicely done. Good. I was being a bit more cautious in there. Just a bit more. Good, 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 good. There's a bit of red there. Bring that down. Those yellows. Didn't even notice the greens. That's fine, that's fine. You're not, you're not a problem there, not a problem. Definitely not a problem. Enough in a second. Oh, so close to the nines. But I'll wait until Laura's higher up, to be honest. Wait, like now would I? Oh. Maybe, maybe I should have waited. I don't know. Just depends. There we go. There we go. Indeed, I am the victor. Victor R. said. What? That's greens. That bum. Not time for a scratch on the back of my head. But you gotta do it, you gotta do it when you can do it. Greens. Get the shiny bomb. Nice, nice, nice. Hmm. You there? Bit of a dangerous situation right now. I need this red one with the green coming down. Thank you. Thank you. Lovely. Oh, steady. You know what? Fine. What about you? Got you. Wrecked me there. Yeah, I did. I did. Right. So we'll now use that as a place to end this part. Then in the next part, we'll. Uh, I don't know. Let's go have a look. Find out where we'll go next. Got an itchy leg. I'm gonna get itchy everything. Very worrying. Very itchy. Um, we'll have a look at the Moon Temple and the Mines Mining Village. I feel that'd be a good idea. There's nothing at the studio? You'd think maybe there would have been. Mines Mountain Path as well. I might do these three. Because I feel like that's gonna be a fight. And that's gonna be a fight. And then. Yeah, we got some rounds there. So yeah, we'll see about those three in the next part. Ta-da for now.